Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and I got a fun little one for you today. It's how to do a text wrap and text orbit. So a lot of times you'll see people talking about how to do like circular text in a screen, and they'll make you do it in and photo editor and then bring in the PNG and deal with that. We're going to talk about how to do it actually inside of Vegas. Uh, and it's got a lot of options there. So first off, going to grab some of the stock footage here. So this footage kind of has a spinniness to it and I want to have the text have a spinniness to it. So first off, I'm going to hit control shift and Q and create another track. Then I'm going to go to the media generators tab and just grab some sample text and drop it up here. And here we go. Boom. Sample text. So uh, I'm going to extend it to the length of the uh, clip that I want it to be over. And I'm going to change a couple things about it. I'm going to make it say something neat like visit cool places. And then I'm going to change the size of it a little bit. And then maybe change the font. And then I'm going to add a black outline to make it a little easier to see. Give it a little more character. Bump that up. Boom. So now I've got, it says visit cool places as a cool place is being drone shot. So that's the simple part. That's the part you know how to do. So the next part is you just grab a uh, an effect here. It's called Tiny Planet. It should be in the last few versions, I think. I think this came in in like 17 or... I can't remember exactly, but if you got 18 or 17, I think you should have this effect. So all you do is you grab the default effect here, boom, drop it on there, boom. Now your text warps. You can change how small it is or how big it is and how, and so this is essentially changing like how big of a circle it's going to do. So you can get the text uh, by both messing with that and how big your text is. You can kind of get a perfect set up for you here but now we've got it actually kind of wrapping so the next part's pretty simple i'm going to make that a little smaller so we can see what we're doing the next part's pretty simple we're just going to keyframe the long the longitude so first off let's talk about what it does latitude changes where the bend comes in longitude changes where it is around the globe so imagine an imaginary globe Latitude is like where it's bending around that imaginary globe. Longitude is where it is around that imaginary globe. And Z is, is how big that imaginary globe is. That's essentially what it is. So uh, we're going to make it a little bigger here. There we go. And so now all we need to do is hit this keyframe button. And uh, depending on the direction you want it to go, you can either start with this keyframe. If you have this keyframe sync cursor media locked, you can start at the very beginning. And then uh, you can have it start on top and go this way. Or if you want it to go this way, clockwise, which is what I want it to do, you'll have to start with it all the way at the 360. So just all the way at the end here and then move your cursor all the way to the end of your shot and boom, move it back down. And now you've got your text circling. So you think that's great and all, but I want it to circle faster. Okay, just move your keyframe closer together. Uh, and then you think, well, that that's great. That makes it faster, but then it's going to just kind of freeze and place after the first revolution. Well, as soon as you get to that point, as soon as you find the speed you want, if you want it to revolve over and over again, just cut it right there, and then you can just hold control and make a copy of it and hit yes, create a new copy, and then you'll have it looping continually. Now, if you want to do that copy continually, just right click, copy, and then hit control B, as in boy, and you'll hit create a new reference and then it says how many times you could say like 90 and we're gonna say five and end to end just make it connect immediately boom now it copy and pasted five times you could do 500 times but now you can see that you can just have this looping indefinitely so that is how to create a circular text in Vegas Pro 18. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you're new, check out all the resources I have in the description, including a Udemy course, which you might be interested in. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.